Hi, in this webcast I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to be setting up a business glossary in MM96. Here's the agenda for the video. We're going to create load, APG resource in MM, verify the contents, and add related catalog objects in Analyst. So BG is business glossary, MM is metadata manager, RCO related catalog objects, and AT is analyst tool or just analyst. And this is all in 9.6. So first thing is to do is create a business glossary resource and metadata manager. Um, one caveat we have to do is make sure we use the fully qualified domain name of the analyst server. Using IP address doesn't work. We'll go ahead and schedule a load. And then we'll do the verify contents and then assign related catalog objects. Once the RCO is assigned in MM, it will then MM will then update analyst within three minutes and the RCO will appear under data assets for the specific business term that we were related. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into MM. So this is the administrator for 9.6. I'm going to re-log in. So we've logged into administrator. I'm going to go to my MM. Log into it. So I got that MM login page. I'm going to go ahead and log in. So we've loaded MM and I actually have a an Oracle resource already loaded. We actually have a business glossary already loaded as well. I'm gonna set up a new one. So let's just click new resource, business glossary, give it a name, part two. So this will be the username that you would log into with analyst as well as security domain. So here's the host. If I put in the IP address, and the name, I do test connection, it fails, cannot connect. So if I change this to the fully qualified, and test the connection again, Success. Go to next. If I wanted to do some linking, I could do that through a file. But for now, I'm just gonna just do a generic import. Next, if I wanted to put it on a schedule, I'd do that. But I'm just gonna run it now. Go ahead and start the load. And after a couple of minutes, the load is successful. The business glossary has loaded, so we're going to look at the objects. So we added 11 categories and 284 business terms. It's important to note that only published objects are imported. 
so we'll close the details, go to the browse, look at the glossary. So we did oil part two. Of course, here are the glossaries. So if you noticed, we can't <coughs> we can't edit any of these properties for categories. We could do we can do related RCOs, but we can't change say any of the properties. I'm going to change. I'm going to try to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to relate benzene to just a random column. I'm just going to read it to this, hit OK. okay. So now if we were to if we were to run lineage, it would show up. Connected. Back to the glossary. Look at about just the names, categories. And then I'm gonna wait three minutes and then go. Okay, so a couple minutes have passed. <coughs> and we can go check if the business term benzene. Is now has a data asset for. If it has a data asset in analyst, and it's been seen when this last thing I checked. You can see. Under the data assets, right here, it actually shows up as one. Before that, it had nothing. Um, so it does tell you asset name, which would be the resource name. It tells you it is an MM. Fortunately, that's as much as we have available in 9.6 right now. So that's setting up a glossary in MM as a separate resource loading it and then viewing it as, as you normally would with MM and even running lineage and then also linking RCOs. So the question will probably come up uh, if I have thousands of terms and I want to link it to you know hundreds of columns for each term how's the best way to do that? And you could do that using the enumerator links. I'll try to cover it in another video as well. Coming back to the presentation. So that's pretty much it. So for for more information, just see the MM guide. Um, like I said, we created the resource, created the bu business glossary resource, loaded it, and then linked or added a related catalog object to a specific business term. In this case, it was benzene. And after three or four minutes, it showed up in Analyst. Thanks for your time. Have a good day. And I, I need to show you the feedback.